now moving on to the sixth bit of fifth problem a has asked us to prove that root of 1 plus sin a by root of 1 minus sin a is equal to secant a plus tan a in order to prove this let us consider the left hand side first that is root of 1 plus sin a divided by 1 minus sin a which is equal to let us multiply and divide the given expression in the square root with 1 plus sin a then we get 1 plus sin a by 1 minus sin a into 1 plus sin a whole divided by 1 minus sin a that is 1 plus sin a which is equal to let us take the root for numerator and denominator separately then we get square root of 1 plus sin a whole square in the numerator and in the denominator we get 1 minus sin a into 1 plus sin a which is in the form of a minus b into a plus b which is equal to a square minus b square so here it will be 1 square minus sin square a which is equal to here square root of 1 plus sin square a is nothing but 1 plus sin a whole divided by square root of we have an identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 which implies cos square a is equal to 1 minus sin square a so by substituting cos square a is equal to 1 minus sin square a here we get in the denominator square root of cos square a which is equal to 1 plus sin a whole divided by square root of cos square a is nothing but cos a which is equal to by splitting this we can write it as 1 plus cos a by sin a by cos a which is equal to 1 by cos a is nothing but secant a plus sin a by cos a is nothing but tan a so which is our right hand side hence we proved the equality that lx is equal to rhs and finally square root of 1 plus sin a by 1 minus sin a is equal to secant a plus tan a